Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to process a full refund on Shopify. Among the top features of a top-class service, a refund policy for customers is a deciding factor of whether a customer would choose to buy the products of a company. Refund policy for customers is actually an expression of confidence on the part of a company. It says that the company knows that its products are top quality and there is an extremely slim possibility of anything being wrong with them. Upon setting up an online store, you should have set your return policies or refund policies. A customer could want to return a product for a variety of reasons, including getting a better rate from elsewhere, and it is the job of the company to accept that. Processing a refund may cost us money sometimes, but then we can still have that customer buying back from us and we are also safe from that negative review. So let us walk you through in processing a refund on Shopify. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. What you need to do first is to access the Shopify admin. Log into your Shopify account at www.shopify.com. Once you're in, click the order section on the left side to access all the orders that were placed at your store. Then, click on the order on where you'll be processing a refund. On the orders page, you can scroll down at the bottom and check the payment method that the customer used as well as any discount codes. You can only process a refund to the original payment method that the customer used. If the customer doesn't have that payment method anymore, ask him or her to contact their bank. Scroll back up and click the refund items link just below the order ID. On the products area, indicate the number of items that need to be refunded. You can either put the whole quantity or just a portion of it. The refund amount on the right side will automatically be updated with the amount. Click the Restock Items checkbox if you want to restock your inventory on Shopify. This is if you have asked Shopify to track your inventory. Indicate the reason for the refund. Though this is optional, you are the only one who can read this. It is just for your personal use. You can actually edit the refund amount. You can lower it, but you can't exceed the amount that the customer paid because it will give you an error. You can also send a notification to the customer indicating that you have already processed a refund. You can uncheck this if you don't want the customer to receive anything. Once you're all set, click the blue refund button. The status of the order will be changed to refunded and unfulfilled now that we have processed a refund for this order. So that's it. We already have processed a full refund. You can now inform your customer about it. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!